welcome back to my channel now as I promised you in the part one video of this wig making I said I was gonna try to wear the wig for you guys to have a look and see how it looks like on a live model because the part one was more on the mannequin head so the video was slightly longer so what I did was to try and make another video where I could wear the work uh, that you saw in the part one and uh, show it to you guys so here we go there was other few things that I didn't try to specify in the part one uh, now the, those things were as you can see here is the wig really nice and I love it that's the front side I've tried to make it a side pattern and that's how it looks from the other angle and this is the way it looks from behind other things um, I did not highlight on the part one video was that although it was 360 degree cruiser curly hair that I used to do this now although it did already had the 360 it was all okay and not bad and as you can see uh, when I finished building the hair it wasn't enough thicker like I wanted so what I did uh, I went in some part like uh, underneath the closure I've sewed few tracks I think on this angle I did sew about three tracks while on the side parting where the volume should be I've done about four to five tracks that I've sewed inside the closure because when I finish adding on the remaining uh, bundles to try and create the shape there was no enough shape when I finished it the whole thing was there but it was just no it didn't have the shape that I wanted so I went in and I add few track which I wanted to show you to you guys and um, I even that's one thing one good thing about when it comes to curly hair because you got add you know hide so many without nobody noticing you can see somewhere here you can see uh, clearly uh, I've added tracks onto the closure part bit and uh, I've carried on adding few more here as well you can see it looks slightly thicker uh, there was track I've laid on the closure normally most people uh, would just be happy with after putting the bundles they wouldn't need to add on but on this occasion closure was slightly thinner and plus the length of the closure was I think 10, 10 inch so by the time I finished sewing it was quite short and it didn't really look like how I wanted so because the bundles was between 8 to 14 what I did I've using the 14 to try and go through the closure in order to keep the length the way it should so that's just the part uh, I wanted to really try and get to show you guys in case you're trying to do a 360 degree closure so when, if it appeared that your uh, extension uh, looks shorter toward the end I think the, the best thing is using a longer length and go through the tracks uh, what I did was like take a section so um, a track of extension uh, but those track because my closure was shorter what I used the longer length of the bundles that I bought to go through the track so it did made it look more like I was uh, doing a layered kind of thing instead of uh, instead of the shorter length I used the longer length just to keep it also like layered and uh, nice and then shaped the way I wanted so I hope you've liked the video in the part one because that was the part I was showing you guys how to so the, the bundles into the lace so this is now my mannequin head uh, with the finishing touch which I'm going to wear the wake myself and then you guys will see how it looks like so open eye feel the waves cut through me hypnotize by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make colds collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you Dripping lights Paint the skies
Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized By the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because Yeah.